sometimes you know how to connect a certain display. And then I mean especially a, a LED display. This is a red LED display out of a clock. And uh, well, I salvaged it and of course I'm completely unsure how uh, this LED display can or will work. So I have to find out the uh, say all the electrodes, where the positive and where the negative is, etc. And that is showed in this uh, piece of paper. Say, uh, uh, sh stupid little things to do with an old LED clock display. Here are all the, here is the complete display and you find, for, uh, like in this case, all kinds of electrodes here that will drive, say, the red LED bars in this clock unit. But where is the negative? Where is the positive? How to drive all these uh, separate uh, LED units? And of course you can go to the World Wide Web, study the data sheet when you can find it. And of course, that's also very important to tell, you can use separate, uh, say, display LED units. Uh, and there, all their pin connections are very, very easy to find on the World Wide Web. So, this is only, say, a kind of experiment to search out where is the positive, where is the negative, and uh, etc. Anyway, so that's showed here. In general, that's a very good idea that I wanted to, to show is that 9 volts, 9 volts here on my variable power supply, it 9 volts via a resistor of 1000 ohms, say 1K, is usable to test out all the, say, the properties of such a uh, LED clock unit. I want to demonstrate it further and the question is always where is the negative on such an unknown clock unit and where is the positive and etc etc. So to find that out a good idea is to use a 1k resistor like I've done here. Use 9 volts and in such a case, more or less, nothing can go wrong. Well, uh, I've of course tested it first because uh, before I made this video, here is that 1K resistor, and when you touch the electrodes here, I will put out the lights. And you will surely see what happens is that when I touch the electrodes with that 1K, 1K resistor, you can say find in a certain way where the LED bars light up. So that's the first good idea. And of course you have to, say, test that experimentally. So you have to find, via uh, two crocodile clips, connected to the electrodes of the clock time unit, where all these LEDs light up. Well, I'm going to put the camera down to show, perhaps, what I've done and that's more or less the second stage of the video. Well, anyway.
have to take some time to make a stable situation. So here we have again all these LEDs lighting up. Best thing is to do that with a 1K resistor on 9 volts. So what happens when we connect, for instance, here some uh, electrodes together? Of course, in such a case, in the ideal situation, uh, this will happen that some electrodes, some LEDs, out of the, say, clock module will work together. Let's try it again. So, and what I wanted to show is that this is only an experimental video. Here I uh, connect all the electrodes together and let's see what happens. So now we have this part of the clock unit uh, lighted up. So uh, the idea is of course very interesting that you can for instance make a, a nameplate with such a old clock unit. This is not the best uh, demonstration, but anyway, uh, you have to say search that out. Perhaps it can take one evening of oh my camera falls uh, one evening of uh, experiments. But anyway, could be interesting. I don't want to go to to details. Uh, there are, say, clock units with uh, where uh, that are driven via the anode, and there are also clock units, uh, display units, LED units that are driven via the uh, cathode. Anyway, uh, the best thing is, of course, like I told earlier, go to the World Wide Web, uh, study the exact. Uh, exact uh, properties of such a display. Of course, always the best thing. And well, here is say in general what happens inside such a clock unit. Here is a display. There are, as far as I know, eight LEDs, red LEDs in that block and each LED is driven by uh, a common cathode or a common anode. So in that case you have uh, eight or so electrodes to drive all the LEDs. LED units, the bars, these are red bars, red LED bars inside that clock unit. So with such a salvaged old clock unit uh, it will be surely possible to find out uh, and to make all the say separate bars in all the figures so uh, say 24 0 uh, 0 0 hours or or some, uh, somewhat else, anyway, uh, to make all these electrodes, all these LED bars in that unit to light up. And you can, for instance, make a nameplate of uh, such an old clock unit. Of course, there are only four dig digits, anyway. Could be good enough. And when you want to make a, a longer, say, uh, uh, plate with, say, a family name or so, you can use separate 
clock units. They are very cheap, by the way. And you can find out easily with the help of the, say, the method that I showed via that uh, 1K resistor. Uh, here is that 1K resistor. Uh, which uh, parts of the figures, the LED figures on the clock unit, the separate bars uh, are activated and can light up. Anyway, hope it was a little bit uh, uh, interesting. Uh, I call it a stupid little things to do with a old LED clock display. Etc. Etc. Wish you luck.